when Krishna appeared in this material world, Balaram appeared as his elder brother. Krishna's incarnations are many. Avatara Hasankya. Among that, Balaram is the first one. Leela Avatara. Rama di Murti Shukalani Amena Tishtanana Avatara Makaroda Bhuvane Shukintu Krishna Swayam Samabhavat Parama Pumanyo Govinda Madhi Purisham Tamaham Bajami Lord Rama, Balarama, Matsya, Korma, Varaha, Vamana, Narsimha Many incarnations are there. But Krishna Swayam Samabhavat Parama Pumanyo All these incarnations are coming from Lord Krishna only. So there are many incarnations, Leela Avataras, Purusha Avataras, Guna Avataras, Manvantara Avataras, Shakti Avish Avataras. So first Avatara came from Lord Krishna is Leela Avatara, that is Balaram. So Balaram, he always saw Lord Krishna. From that Balaram, Mahavishnu came, Karanodaksai Vishnu. From Mahavishnu, Garbodaksai Vishnus came, many Garbodaksai Vishnus. From many Garbodaksai Vishnus, Many, many Kshirodakasai Vishnus came. So, all these Vishnus are coming from Balaram. Balaram came from Lord Krishna. Balaram is Ananta Sesha. So, Ananta means Ananta, unlimitedly. Sesha means complete. Completely, unlimitedly serving Lord Krishna is Balaram. So, Balaram is Leela Avatar. From Leela Avatar, these three Purusha Avataras came. What are those three Purusha Avataras? Kharnodakasai Vishnu, Garbodakasai Vishnu and Kshirodakasai Vishnu. And then Gunavataras, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, these three are Gunavataras. Then Manvantara Avataras, all these Manus, many Manus are there, Vaivasvata Manu, uh, Varaha Manu, many Manus are there, they are all kings of these Brahmandas, Manvantara Avataras. Shakti Avesh Avataras, one who preaches the glories of Lord Krishna, one who is empowered by Lord Krishna, like Narada Muni, Sanaka Sanatana, Sanandana, Sanat Kumara, they are all Shakti Avesh Avataras. So among these Avataras, the first Avatar, is Balaram and Krishna is Avatari. Krishna is not an Avatar. He is an Avatari. That's why in Dasavatara Stotra, if you see, Krishna's name is not there. Some people say that uh, Krishna is there in ten incarnations. No, if, you, if they don't read, they never read Dasavatara Stotra. We can, if you see that uh, Dasavatara Stotra, Pralaya Payo, Dijale, Dritavan, Sivedam, Vihitavahitra, Jaritra, Makedam, Keshavadrita, Mina, Jarira. So starts with Mina, Sirira, Jaya, Jagadisha, Hare, first is Mina. Mina means fish incarnation, then Korma avatar, tortoise incarnation, turtle, and then third one is Varaha avatara, fourth Narsimha avatara, fifth Vamana avatara, sixth Parashuram, seven Ram, eight Balaram, nine Buddha avatar, ten Kalki avatar. So there is no Krishna in these ten avataras. That's why Jayadeva Goswami writes. After his Dasavatara Stotra, what he writes? Dasa Krite Krite Krishna Yatubhyam Namaha. One who has taken all these ten incarnations that Krishna, I offer my respectful obeisances to you. Jayadeva Goswami said that Lord Krishna is an avatari. He is the supreme personality of Godhead. He is the fountainhead of all his avatars. He is an avatari. That's what Jayadeva Goswami said. Dasa Krite Krite Krishna Yatubhyam Namaha. That one should understand. Jesus not like um, speculating and speak whatever they like. First they should read the Savatara Stotra. That Krishna is not there among these ten incarnations. Because Krishna is an avatari. He is the fountain head of all these ten incarnations. And that Balaram. Balaram is the first Leila avatar. Comes from Krishna. Direct expansion of Lord Krishna. That's why Balaram looks like Lord Krishna. Same like Lord Krishna. But color complexion is different. Balaram is milkish white complexion. And Krishna is bluish complexion. And Balaram becomes Krishna's slippers. Balaram becomes Krishna's singhasan. Balaram becomes Krishna's dress. Balaram becomes Krishna's flute. Balaram becomes dham. Before Krishna comes, Balaram came as Brandavan dham. Balaram came as his elder brother to serve Krishna. To serve Krishna. Tirupati dham is Balaram. Sri Rangam dham is Balaram. Mathura Dham is Balaram, Haridwar, Rishikesh, Budipi, all the Dhams is Balaram. And whatever thing we use in service of Lord Krishna, now I am sp speaking through this mobile phone about Lord Krishna, about Balaram. This mobile is Balaram because I am I'm using this mobile for serving Krishna to speak about Lord Krishna. This is Balaram. And in the temple, the mic, speaker, 
Harthi plate, paraphernalia, everything, all are Balaram. So why, that's why we should handle with so much care, love and devotion. Because that is Balaram. That is Balaram Tattva. Guru Tattva. Sri Vigrahara Dhana Nitya Nana Shringaratan Mandira Marjanado Yuktasya Bhaktam Staniyan Jatopi Vande Guru Sri Charanarabindam Guru Sri Vigrahara Dhana Nitya Nana The spiritual master He saw the deities and teach his disciples how to serve the deity Shringaratan Mandira Marjanado, he cleaned the deity and, and teach his disciples how to clean the, the temple. He cleaned the temple and, and, and he teaches his disciples how to do that. In the same way, Balaram became Krishna's slippers, Balaram became Krishna's uh, Singhasan, Balaram becomes Krishna's whatever thing we use in so, to serve Krishna is Balaram. So, in this way, he is completely teaching us that how Balaram is very enthusiastic. He always says, I am Krishna's servant. Even though Krishna's elder brother. And one more thing, Balaram in Vyatirekaras with Krishna. So Balaram is in Vyatirekaras with Krishna. Vyatirekaras. This is a special rasa. Krishna enjoys. Whatever Krishna says, Balaram said no. You know, he say opposite. <laughs> Balaram says. That what Krishna enjoys. Because Krishna, uh, we meditate on Krishna the, in Shantras. Dasiras, Krishna is our master. Krishna is my master. I am his servant. Sakiras, Krishna is my friend. I play with him. Vatsilaras Krishna is my son, I have to protect him always, I have to feed him, carry him wherever I go. And then Madhuriras Krishna is my lover. All these rasa devotees, they love Krishna, they obey Krishna, they do whatever Krishna say. But Balram, Balram it doesn't mean that, does not mean that Balram don't love, Balram love more than anyone. Balram loves Krishna, but Krishna wants Vetrekras also. Krishna wants somebody who objects him also. That is Balaram. He said no. For example, I will tell you, a Balaram, Balaram's disciple is Duryodhana. Balaram teach club fighting to Duryodhana. Then Balaram is very impressed with Duryodhana. Oh, you are very good, very nice. Whatever I say, you listen. And you are fighting nicely with the club. Then Duryodhana said, thank you, thank you Balaram, thank you sir, thank you Guruji. Then Balaram said, okay, you marry my sister, why not? Then you said, oh, your sister Subhadra is so beautiful, molten gold complexion, I like, I will marry. Then Balaram said, okay, go to Hastinapur, I will inform. Balaram was in Dwarka that time. Duryodhana came to Dwarka to learn this club fight. Balaram, what he did? He arranged uh, everything. He said, uh, yeah, within few days, Subhadra, my dear sister, you will marry Duryodhan. Subhadra don't like. Krishna also don't like. Subhadra told Krishna, my dear brother, what is this Balaram is doing? What is our, this elder brother doing? He's asking me to marry Duryodhan. Can you imagine? Then Krishna said, don't worry, you will get a good husband. Dilwale Dulhaniyale Jayage, don't worry. <laughs> then uh, Subhadra was very happy because she believes Krishna. She loves Krishna so much. <laughs> Arjuna came as a mendicant. He was traveling all around India, all the holy places. Arjuna came. Balram, he don't know that he is Arjuna. He says, Balram is thinking he is a mendicant, traveling mendicant. Balram invited Arjuna, a mendicant, come, come and dine with us. Balram called that mendicant who is none other than Arjuna only, Balram don't know. Then Balram offered wonderful meal that mendicant was eating, Arjuna. And he saw Subhadra. Subhadra saw Arjuna. Eyes met. Love. Finish. Arjuna wanted to marry Subhadra. And Subhadra also knows this is this is my Dilwale. Not that Duryodhan. Then Subhadra also decided to get married to Arjuna. Then Krishna also smiled. Krishna knows. Bal Balram is innocent. Ah, eat, eat, eat this uh, makkan. Eat this roti. Eat this curry. Eat this, eat this sweet. Eat, the, eat that pies. In this way, Balram is so innocent. But here, three of them, they are doing politics. Who are they? Subhadra, Arjuna and Krishna. Krishna told Arjuna, take Subhadra with you. Then Arjuna took Subhadra and 
Arjuna knows what happens. Krishna, he smiled. Krishna speak with his heart to Arjuna. That's it. Arjuna understand everything. Arjuna told Subhadra, you drive the chariot. And Subhadra smiled and Subhadra started driving the chariot. Arjuna was sitting in the chariot, behind the chariot. Then uh, Balaram, where is Subhadra? Where is that fellow, that mendicant? Where is he? What is happening? They got angry like Anantasesh at the time of cosmic dissolution. He was like, he sing like a snake. Then Krishna, he fell not at Balaram's feet. Balaram, brother, please, please calm down. Please calm down. You know, what is this Duryodhana? He is a demon, demonic person. How could you expect Subhadra, our sister, Kamalangi, that delicate girl, get married with that nonsense Duryodhana? Let her go with Arjuna. Why? Without my permission, why you people cheated me? Then Krishna touched Balaram's feet and told Balaram, you, you want to know who kidnapped whom you want to see? Come with me. Then Krishna took Balaram with him. They spotted Subhadra and Balaram. They're going in the chariot very speed, very fast. See who is driving whom. Then uh, Balaram was shocked to see that Subhadra, she was driving the chariot and Arjuna was sitting in the chariot. Then Balaram said, what is this happening? Then Krishna said, yes, our sister only. She's kidnapping that innocent mendicant Arjuna. Then uh, Balaram said, oh, she likes Arjuna. Okay, if she likes, I can't do anything. Oh, my poor disciple Duryodhana. He must be feeling sad about this. In this way, Balaram was so concerned also. So Krishna and Balaram's rasa is Vyatirek rasa. Whatever Krishna said, Balaram said, no. <laughs> because Balaram was Lakshmana in, in, in the previous incarnation. He was brother and always Anantasesh means completely uh, serving Lord Krishna uh, so in, in his form as Lord Rama. But here he was, you know, he was unable to serve you know, as he like, like full fledged. Lord, Lord Rama was sleeping on the bare floor, uh, bare, bare floor. Then Lakshmana, brother, why are you sleeping on the bare floor? I made a banana leaf bed for you. Then, uh, then Rama never listened because Rama is elder brother, and even Lakshmana uh, was afraid to speak this thing. Uh, brother, I made. A, okay, okay, brother, you sleep here. Okay, brother, Bra but he was unable to explain. Then Lakshmana was thinking. Is, oh, I am I am younger. I am younger. That's why I cannot order him. If I am elder to him, I, I I order him and I see his comfort, everything nicely. Why I am young, younger to him? In this way, he was feeling sad about this. Then in his next incarnation, Lakshmana came as Balaram and started ordering Krishna. This is an excellent rasa. And Balaram loves Krishna so much, you know, in the uh, pasturing grounds also when Krishna and Balaram, when they were young, sometimes Krishna was tired, Balaram used to massage Krishna's lotus feet. And Balaram's pastimes are very strange, very wonderful. So his marriage pastime we'll discuss today. He, he got married with two uh, wives. They are uh, Ravati and Varuni. It's a wonderful pastime from Garga Samhita and Vishnu Purana also. The first Ravati, first wife Ravati. So Ravati, she was a daughter of uh, Raivata, King Raivata. Uh, they were from Satya Yuga. So Raivata found Ravati with so many good qualities, wonderful qualities, and with such an extreme be beauty. So nobody can match. Then Raivata was worried. What happened? What, what will? What can I do now? What is my fate? This girl is such a qualified girl and nobody in this material world can marry her. So what shall I do? Let us go to Brahma. So Raivata took Ravati to Lord Brahma in Brahmaloka. That time when uh, Raivata went to Brahmaloka, Brahmaji, he was enjoying a musical concert by Haha and Huhu Gandharvas. And Bra Brahma was enjoying. Then Raivata waited for some time. And after that music, uh, that singing was finished, Brahma saw Raivata, he asked Raivata, what happened? Then Raivata said, ah, yes, Brahmaji, you know, this is my daughter Ravati, such a qualified, beautiful uh, young lady, but I can't find a suitable husband for her. Uh, then Brahmaji laughed, <laughs> don't worry, Raivata, you came here from Bhuloka, so, so much time has passed because you are waiting for me. Buloka, now Satyuga has gone, Trata Yuga has gone, now Dwapar Yuga has come. When you go back, there will be Dwapar Yuga in, in that Buloka. Then Raivata said, oh really, then what is our fate? Then Brahma said, don't worry, 
now is the best time for you to go because anantasesh appeared as lord balaram krishna's elder brother he is the qualified person for your daughter ravati to get married then immediately raivata took ravati to this buloka and he went to balaram and balaram agreed and in the marriage because ravati is from satyuga she is very tall according to the height of satyuga balaram is also tall but it is dwapara yuga so little bit short shorter than ravati then balaram what he did he took his plow put that plow on ravati's shoulder he pulled her down with that plow balaram he pulled her down and ravati become a suitable height for balaram so that way ravati and balaram got married and after many years balaram went to vrindavan from dwaraka to dance with naga kanyas naga so balaram was dancing with naga kanyas balaram wanted to drink some intoxicating juice so moon god he understood balaram's heart and moon god sent his daughter varuni to go and serve balaram and varuni came down to vrindavan and she entered all the trees in vrindavan where balaram was dancing and she started flowing like an intoxicating beverage like an intoxicating what is called honey that is called varuni that varuni is an intoxicating honey so balaram drank that varuni up to his full satisfaction and balaram started staggering dancing enjoying and balaram liked that varuni was drinking more and more then moon god came he offered obeisances to balaram he said balaram you like that varuni uh, that um, honey intoxicating honey then balaram said i yes i enjoyed a lot i like moon god said it is my daughter can i make a wish ask you for a benediction the balaram said sure you served me so nicely you engage your daughter so nicely so whatever you ask i will give you then moon god said please marry my daughter varuni then balaram smiled and okay call her then from all the trees she again came back and she married balaram balaram married varuni in this way balaram got two wives ravati and varuni so balaram means bala means strength rama means happiness pleasure of spiritual life balaram gives strength to enjoy spiritual life so we should pray to balaram for strength to chant holy names of lord krishna hari krishna mahamantra this is balaram tatva hari krishna jai jagannath